Hi and welcome to this DACIS video. Today we're going to cover the kiosk v3 with local web kiosk file transfer. Um, this is an update that was asked by many of our customers who have slower internet connections or who just want the local file chooser for their Photo Factory 3 on the kiosk. So here's what we're going to cover in this video. Um, I'm going to show you how to activate this new mode for your V3 kiosks. This is available for everyone already. There was an automatic update that went through a few days ago. Um, we just haven't explained to you how to use it and this is what this video aims to cover. We're also going to do a quick overview of what it changes. We're going to compare the advantages and disadvantages of both modes and then there's also another update that went through you can now set different payment and shipping options for your in-store photo factory kiosk orders as opposed to the online gifting orders so I'm going to show you how to edit that setting as well so this is a live demo so I have a kiosk open here and we're just going to switch over to it so to all of you DACIS kiosk users this is a familiar area this is the uh, kiosk control center okay to turn this on you just come here and you do upload photos offline. I'm not going to do this yet. We're going to run through an order in the current settings and then we're going to run through an order in the new settings. Before I do that, I'm just going to validate my IP address. I realize that I just changed network to do my recording. So my IP address is 202. I'm just going to change that right here. Quit out of the kiosk and start it again. Okay, that being done, let's go place a photo factory order so that we can see the file chooser in action and then we'll change it to the new mode so that we can compare both of them. So since this update pertains to the photo factory section, I'm just going to head over there. My screen size isn't set properly, but that's not a problem. And we're going to go do a photo book. Linen cover eight and a half by eleven. We'll just do the one without any backgrounds. So when I click here, um, it opens up the file chooser that you're accustomed to seeing if you've been using the web kiosk or that you're accustomed to seeing for the online print ordering. So I can choose my files. I can go to Facebook, um, whatever works. So I'm just going to choose files. We're going to upload a bunch of these here. And then obviously, this is the standard upload procedure. I have 19 files. It's going to take a few seconds. I'm on Wi-Fi here. Our internet isn't too bad, so it's not going to take too long. We're just going to let that process. So as you can see, it took about 15 seconds to get to 100%. There's still a few seconds to go. So a few seconds uh, per file, one or two seconds per file. We obviously have a pretty fast internet connection here, so it goes rather quickly. Um, if you have a DSL in your store, then doing photo books or calendars from the kiosk has always been a little problematic. All right. So we're going to do the auto process. Seems to not be particularly happy right now, so I'm going to cancel out and start it over again process. There you go. We're going to accept. And now my book is laid out. And I can do what I want with it. It's all the other features. So that's the file chooser here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this order. We're going to change it to the local mode and we're going to use the exact same files to do another order to compare. So I'm going to come here, photo products, upload photos offline, and I'm going to start the kiosk again. And I'm just going to find my way back to that same book again. Okay. Now when I either click the Add Photos button here or I click it here, you'll notice it goes to the typical file chooser that you see on the Prince engine. So it's much more touchscreen friendly, um, it's much quicker, 
so it has a lot of advantages there. I'm just going to choose a bunch of files. Then when we hit continue, it just drags them all in. And you'll notice that they appear here very quickly. And when you do process, it also processes them a lot faster to create the book. And now I have my book, and I can play with it. And those of you that are astute observers will notice that the Save button has disappeared from the application. And if I go back a step oh, into my catalog here, you'll also notice that the User Account button has disappeared here. So essentially, what's going on is that when you do the local file transfer, you lose the ability to save and load projects to the cloud. That's the trade-off you get for having the files stay local. Since they are on the kiosk, it, it's a lot harder to, uh, to send them through. You do not lose your multi-store fulfillment. If you have multiple locations and you use fulfillment options on any of these products where they're being sent to another location for production, that's not a problem. If you use a wholesaler such as Fuji, PPPG, American Direct Sales, Fuji Canada, or PhotoCreate, that's also not a problem. So here's the comparison of both kiosk modes. The cloud kiosk gives you access to the full range of photo storage from Google Drive, OneDrive, Picasso, Facebook, Instagram. It allows you to connect to an FTP account. It allows you to connect to all the cloud storage devices. The local kiosk has Facebook and Instagram, just like the Prince does, and it does not have the other cloud engines. The file explorer in Cloud Kiosk is a typical file explorer. It's best used with a mouse. It does allow for quick multiple selections. And the uh, file chooser in the local mode is that full screen visual experience that you get from the Prince Engine. Okay. Um, in the online mode, you have access to the RUA user account. So you can have products be portable between any type of device that you're using. Customers can start a book on an iPhone, an iPad, come to the kiosk, do the, the finagling there and do all the, the editing there. In the local kiosk mode, you don't have access to the user account. That's something that's easily fixed though. Um, as you saw, it's really just a checkbox to change the, the way the kiosk works and you can change it at any time. So if a customer does come in and says, hey, I need help with this photo book I started on my phone, this photo book I started on my tablet, you can bring them to the kiosk, make it the online mode, and then they'll have automatic access to their products. Once, a, once a, one of your staff members knows that a customer needs to access it, changing across takes a few seconds, so you do have that flexibility there. So the cloud kiosk, the way it works now, is suitable for those that have a high-speed internet connection, because when you're doing a photo book or calendar, you do have to upload those images. Personally, I find that the portability of projects allowing customers to finish a book at home or show it to a loved one before spending what can be hundreds of dollars for a high-end book, especially if you're getting multiple copies, is, is worth the trade-off of taking a few seconds or minutes up front to load 100 or 200 photos. Even if it's two or three minutes to upload those files, I find that that's a worthwhile trade-off to stay with the cloud kiosk mode. You may disagree with me. Speed might be the most important thing for you. And if that's the case, then the local kiosk is your option. Um, the local kiosk, what happens and how it works, you still need an internet connection, except you don't need a fast internet connection. The internet connection is just used to get your pricing, the layouts, the various product information from the MyDACIS, and also to report orders at the end of the process. This is suitable if you have a DSL connection or if speed is your number one concern. Ultimately, you are free to try out both versions. There's no cost to switch. As you saw, it's just a checkbox. We're actually going to go show that to you again real quick. So in the Kiosk Control Center, I head to the Photo Products tab. If I check this, it becomes Local Kiosk. If I uncheck it, it becomes the web kiosk. And you will notice if I uncheck display photo products, it does disappear because if you don't have the photo products, it's kind of a moot point anyways. 
So the next thing I'm going to show you um, is for those of you that are using the web kiosk and do not offer pay and store online, you've had some issues where it's asking your customers to pay in store off the kiosk and you don't want to offer pay in store online, there's a little conflict there and we've resolved that for you. So I'm going to go show you what you can do here. I'm going to log into my DACUS demo account. All right, DACUS demo site right here. I'm going to want to head over to the shopping cart and I'm going to want to edit my billing and shipping options. So this is actually where if you use multiple DACUS applications, you can control which application has which type of payment options and which application has which type of shipping options. So you'll notice they're divided by our type of applications. There's prints, which is the photominator, the basic prints, online photo gifts, which is any photo factory product from your website. There's kiosk photo gifts. Now this is the new setting. This, this refers to any photo factory product ordered off the kiosk, pro events, and hard goods is the cameras, the accessories, or any other hard goods you sell. So there's two boxes here. The, the first one says payment options for pickup in store. So there are some things you don't want to allow customers to do. So if you do have the NACUS web store, you don't want to take online payment for a camera that's picked up in store. The card not present rules, uh, if there's fraud, you can get hit with something. In theory, that applies to the photo factory products as well, except you don't really go see people fencing um, pick canvas prints of their family on eBay. There's, there's no money in that, so it's a lot of a safer experience. So you can leave pay online or in store for all of these if you want. The kiosk photo gifts is the one that you might want to adjust. A lot of a lot of you want pay in store only for the kiosk photo gifts if it's pick up in store. And then what you can even do is kiosk photo gifts. You can make it pick up in store only if you want. Mind you, I don't see why you wouldn't allow for a shipping option if somebody's in your store and they want to order a photo book and then they don't want to come back for it. You can ship it right to their house if they want. So this is where you can come and change the payment options for the kiosk at the photo factory step. If you have any questions about what we saw today, or if you have any comments, do not hesitate to reach us. Sales at Dacus.com, support at Dacus.com, web design at Dacus.com. We're always here to help you, and uh, hopefully this is a, a good upgrade for you. I know that it's going to make a lot of difference to um, photo book sales and other calendar sales for those of you that have been using the kiosk in web kiosk mode and, and, and have a slow internet connection. So with that, thank you for attending the webinar and uh, hopefully you have a great day. Bye-bye.